we took our summer externship uh, at the airport, uh, we wanted to you know, have something that was going to be meaningful to the kids. Once we got out on the, on the actual airfield, on the runways, um, and we saw the airplanes and we saw the, the aerodynamics and the different things that the kids would be able to come up with on their own, because we wanted it to be exciting for them. And I think, I think the idea of, of creating an airplane that was going to be uh, meaningful to them and authentic for them um, is something that they could really be engaged with. We kicked things off with the field trip to the airport, and uh, they did a tremendous job out there. We had, we had a great trip. It was extremely meaningful to them, and they really took, I thought, some really good information from that. We wanted them to look at planes and forces that affect planes, and the manager at the airport, he really was, did well at going over you know, forces that affect planes in flight, and we really wanted them to look at the angles of the wings, the length of the wings compared to the back of the plane to get ideas of how they wanted to build theirs because, I mean, of course not all planes are built the same, so. And we didn't want all planes, them to build all their planes the same. At the time, we were learning about speed and science and we were learning about Newton's laws. We really wanted to focus on forces that affect planes and relating that to Newton's laws and relating that back to speed and motion. So we went over all of the forces and talked about them in, you know, what type of forces they were and how they affected the plane and brought that into it. And it allowed us to not just sit in here and read the book or get out a worksheet. It allowed us to, you know, see that real world of how those forces are used. We started in class, I think, on Wednesday. Um, they started actually building it. They would just, you know, toss it and see, see how it did and they would come back in and I'd ask them, you know, what, what went well, what didn't go well and they would continue to improve on that and you know sometimes they'd be out in the hallway five or six times a period changing little things and then going back and then sometimes they'd tear it apart and completely start back over so it just depended on the group and how much motivation they had to want their plane to fly. Well the students have to connect the the efficiency of the plane, the speed that's required to take off, but not only the takeoff, the ability to, to be a stable flight, a safe flight, and so the, yeah this, the speed was part of the the testing but there was more to it than just the speed. It was there's also the safety and the stability and the, and the ability to carry through the entire flight um, and get them to a, a safe landing. We kind of taught this through a different way besides teaching through a textbook. We taught it through the engineering design process where we, we gave them the problem and they got into the groups and we, they collaborated, which is, you know, important in today's society. They're not just working on their own. You know, I told them, I said, even no matter what job you have, you will never work on your own. You will always have to work with somebody. And so they, they had to take their idea that they had and then their partner took their idea that they had and they came together and they came up with one of their own. Then they went to actually creating it, determining what they needed, which is the next step, um, and then continuing to improve and improve and improve based on what the product that you get. When they're doing the final testing, uh, they took them down to the auxiliary gym and they, they really uh, tested for two things. They tested their distance and then the time that it took. Um, and then they used those two measurements to find their speed. Um, they took the distance divided by their time uh, to find their uh, speed either in feet per second or, or miles per hour to get us to their, to their unit rate. Well, I think one of the biggest connections they found was that uh, it was, it's real easy to take uh, flight for granted. And I think through, through this activity, they realized that there's a lot more to it than just paying for your ticket and getting on the plane. Um, there's a lot of things that go, go into the ability to fly in terms of the, you know, the, the speed and the acceleration it needs to take off, the angle of the wings, the, the balance points, the center of gravity, and all these things that it requires that we don't necessarily think of all the time. We just know, oh, it's safe to fly. I'm going to get on this plane. Most importantly, it allows them to express their learning through their own ideas and not just, you know, here's, there's only one right answer. It allows them to use their mind and their creativity that a lot of them have, especially in seventh grade that they're trying to figure out and be able to create their own version of what they see as being successful. And although it might not be successful, it's their idea and they take pride in that. <music>